Hey everyone, we got a Pentair Master Temp 250 pool heater here. Um, I turned it on earlier today. It ran for a little bit. Um, and then this service heater light came on and it just wouldn't run for a while. So we're going to take a look at this. We're going to open it up and figure out what's going on. Hopefully it's a simple issue, but we will see. Uh, so what we're going to do first, get a flathead and take off these four or take out these four screws here. Um, before we do anything, I've already gone ahead and turned the power off to it, but make sure you do that. I'm going to remove these and we'll come back and take a look. All right. So with all of those removed, we're just going to pull up here and we get to take a look at what's inside here. So unfortunately, the first thing that I wanted to check was on the back side. So I followed the same process to remove this. And we are going to see that right there. That is a sensor that will often go bad. So what we're going to do is we're going to get a wrench to uh, take this out. And we're going to get a multimeter to check it see if it is working right or if it's busted. So let's go ahead and take that out with a wrench. All right, so I got this sensor out using a 13 millimeter wrench. Uh, I was able to loosen it up a little bit and then I twisted it out. Now, when I was pulling this out, this piece fell off uh, really easily. So I'm guessing this sensor um, is my HU and this piece was loose so we weren't getting that proper connection. Um, but if this did not fall out and you want to check and make sure that this sensor is a problem, what you can do is you can take your multimeter, put it on the uh, continuity setting here, and you would have this end here touching this, make sure this end is touching that firm connection, and you would probably get uh, a beeping sound saying that you are getting continuity. Now that would mean your sensor is absolutely the issue. Mine's not getting that, um, so the sensor's not necessarily the issue. It's probably because this piece was loose, not a solid connection in there. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and change it out. This is $13 off Amazon. It was over $100 at the pool store, so I will throw a link in for this replacement part. We're going to change this out. Uh, basically, what we'll do is we'll just screw it back in that hole there and uh, reconnect these here to it and we'll kick it on and see if it works all right we got it back in um, we tightened it up just enough to where you can't really I mean pretty snug uh, to where you couldn't like an un uh, untighten it by hand and then we put these back in shouldn't matter which one this goes into uh, either or uh, one thing to point out too is when you're handling your new one, make sure you're not touching this with your fingers. You don't want your oil uh, from your hands to get into that sensor. Um, that could affect the readings and make it less, uh, work less efficiently. So now that we have this in, we're gonna go flip our breaker. We're gonna give it a test and see if it works right. All right, so we turned it on a little bit ago um, and we've let it run for a while and it seems to be running right with no issues. Uh, we're not getting that service heater error or anything like that. I can feel the um, the heat coming off of here. I can feel the pool getting a little bit warmer. So uh, it looks like that sensor was our issue. Um, hopefully uh, it's, a, uh, it's as simple as that for you all as well, since that's a pretty cheap fix as long as you order it online. Um, but if this video helps you all out in diagnosing your pool heater, do me a favor and hit the like button. And thank you all for watching.